Legal education is the education of individuals who intend to become legal professionals or those who simply intend to use their law degree to some end, either related to law or business. It includes first degrees in law, which may be studied at either undergraduate or graduate level depending on the country, vocational courses which prospective lawyers are required to pass in some countries before they may enter practice. Applied legal education for specific branches of law such as business law, human resource and labor laws, property laws, family laws, human rights and legal awareness, taxation law and many more. Higher academic degrees and doctorate. Overview. In addition to the qualifications required to become a practicing lawyer, legal education also encompasses higher degrees, such as doctorates for more advanced academic study. In many countries other than the United States, law is an undergraduate degree. Graduates of such a program are eligible to become lawyers by passing the country's equivalent of a bar exam. In such countries, graduate programs in law enable students to embark on academic careers or become specialized in a particular area of law. In the United States, law is a professional doctorate degree known as a Juris Doctor. Students embark upon their legal studies only after completing an undergraduate degree in some other field. The undergraduate degree can be in any field, though most American lawyers hold bachelor's degrees in the humanities and social sciences. Legal studies at the undergraduate level are available at a few institutions. American law schools are usually an autonomous entity within a larger university. In contrast, the L.B. degree is still the standard qualification in other common law jurisdictions, mostly in the Commonwealth of Nations. Faculty of Law is another name for a law school or school of law, the terms commonly used in the United States. This term is used in Canada, other Commonwealth countries and the rest of the world. It may be distinguishable from law school in the sense that a faculty is a subdivision of a university on the same rank with other faculties, i.e., faculty of medicine, faculty of graduate studies, whereas a law school or school of law may have a more autonomous status within a university, or may be totally independent of any other post-secondary educational institution. In addition in some countries, including the United Kingdom, Italy, Germany, Canada and some states of Australia, the final stages of vocational legal education required to qualify to practice law are carried out outside the university system. The requirements for qualification as a barrister or as a solicitor are covered in those articles. Continuing legal education. Continuing legal education is system or process wherein barristers and judges are provided opportunity to update their knowledge and skills during continuation of their profession. Applied law programs. In some countries like India, partial exposure of relevant commercial and taxation laws is provided at commerce and accountancy undergraduate and postgraduate level. In India and U.S. business law is taught at business schools too. In India at undergraduate engineering level a partial exposure is provided to intellectual property laws. In South Asia and Oceania, applied law programs are made available as certificate courses or as postgraduate diploma at postgraduation level and those who do not want to practice laws also can pursue these applied law programs. In Australia applied law programs are available in subjects like commercial transactions, family law, in-house practice, property law, wills and estates and graduate diploma of family dispute resolution practice. In India diploma or certificate courses in arbitration, banking law, human resource, labor laws, human rights and legal literacy criminology and penology, cyber law, taxation laws etc. are available. History of legal education. Tiberius Caruncanius was the first who publicly professed law, known to be both eloquent and full of knowledge. Like Socrates, he left no writings. His public legal instruction had the effect of creating a class of legally skilled non-priests.
a sort of consultancy. After Karunkanius's death, instruction gradually became more formal, with the introduction of books on law beyond the then scant official Roman legal texts. It is possible that as the first plebeian pontifex Maximus, Karunkanius allowed members of the public and students of the law of ancient Rome to attend his consultations tasked with giving legal advice to citizens. These consultations were probably held outside the College of Pontiffs, and thus accessible to all those interested. As such, he became the first teacher of Roman law. Commonwealth countries Australia In Australia most universities offer law as an undergraduate entry course, or combined degree course. Some of these also offer a three-year postgraduate Juris Doctor program. Bond University in Queensland runs three full semesters each year, teaching from mid-January to late December. This enables the Bond University Law Faculty to offer the LLB in the usual eight semesters, but only 22 thirds years. They also offer a JD in two years. The University of Technology, Sydney will from 2010 offer a two-year accelerated JD program. In 2008, the University of Melbourne introduced the Melbourne model, whereby law is only available as a graduate degree, with students having to have completed a three-year bachelor's degree before being eligible. Students in combined degree programs would spend the first three years completing their first bachelor's degree together with some preliminary law subjects and then spend the last two to three years completing the law degree. Alternatively, one can finish any bachelor's degree, and providing their academic results are high, apply for graduate entry into a three-year LLB program. Australian law schools include those at the University of New England, Australian National University, La Trobe University, Flinders University, Bond University, Macquarie, Monash, Deakin, UNSW, University of Tasmania, Adelaide, Victoria University, Sydney, Melbourne, Queensland, University of Technology, the University of Queensland, the University of Western Australia and the University of Canberra. It is argued that the proliferation of law schools over the last 40 years has greatly diminished the quality of legal education. In 1960 there were only half a dozen institutions producing no more than 1,500 graduates per year in a country of then less than 19 million. As of 2015 there are more than 50 institutions producing more than 5,000 graduates per year for a population of just 21 million. This has had a double impact. The teaching faculties of institutions granting law degrees have been decreased in quality because talented teachers are spread through so many more institutions. The quality of the student intake, especially to the less recognized institutions, is greatly diminished. The graduate product has grown increasingly less acceptable to the profession and the public alike. United Kingdom in England and Wales Law can be studied as an undergraduate degree or in a graduate diploma in law where students complete the common professional examination. After obtaining the degree which is necessary to complete certain vocational courses and to serve a period of on-the-job training before one is able to qualify to practice as a barrister, legal executive or solicitor. Bar professional training course is regarded as one of the hardest degree and presently it is the most expensive law-related degree. India The Bar Council of India prescribes and supervises standard of legal education in India. Law degrees in India are granted and conferred in terms of the Advocates Act 1961 which is a law passed by the Parliament both on the aspect of legal education and also regulation of conduct of legal profession. Various regional universities or specialized national law universities offer law graduate degrees through various law schools. In India law can be studied as UL, B, or BL, a three-year graduate degree after completion of bachelor's degree. Alternatively after standard 12 one can join an integrated five-year law course which provides option to avail BA, 
L B or B B A L L B or B S C L B. In India, applied legal education for specific branches of law is also offered, such as business law, human resource and labor laws, property laws, family laws, human rights and legal awareness, taxation law, and many more. Sri Lanka In order to practice law in Sri Lanka, a lawyer must be admitted and enrolled as an attorney at law of the Supreme Court of the Democratic Socialist Republic of Sri Lanka. To be admitted to the bar a law student must complete law exams held by the Sri Lanka Law College and undergo a period of apprenticeship under a practicing lawyer. There are two routes taken by students. Those who have gained a law degree, an UL, B, are given direct entry to undertake law exams that the Sri Lanka Law College. Those who don't hold a law degree, could gain entrance to the Sri Lanka Law College via a competitive entrance exam to study law and prepare for the law exams. Both groups of students must undergo a period of apprenticeship under a practicing lawyer. To become a judge one must be admitted as an attorney at law. South Africa In South Africa, the L.B. is the universal legal qualification for admission and enrollment as an advocate or attorney. Since 1998, L.B. programs may be entered directly at the undergraduate level. At the same time, the L.B. continues to be offered postgraduate and may then be accelerated dependent on the bachelor's degree. The program lasts between two and four years correspondingly. See Bachelor of Laws Hashtag South Africa. Although not formally required for specialized practice, further training, e.g., in tax, is usually via postgraduate diplomas or focused coursework based L.M. programs. Research degrees are the L.M. and L.D. or Ph.D. depending on university. The master's dissertation reflects an ability to conduct independent research, whereas the doctoral thesis will, in addition, constitute an original contribution to the field of law in question. A doctorate, generally, is required for positions in legal academia. See Master of Laws Hashtag South Africa Doctor of Law Hashtag South Africa Historically, the BPROC and B. Juris were the legal degrees offered at the undergraduate level. The four-year B. Pro qualified one to practice as an attorney or become a prosecutor or magistrate in the lower courts, but did not allow for admission as an advocate. The three-year B. Juris was the basic requirement for prosecutors and magistrates in the lower courts, but on its own, did not qualify one to practice as an attorney. Both offered admission to the LLB. For admission as an attorney, one serves articles as a candidate attorney with a practicing attorney for two years, and then writes a board exam set by the relevant provincial law society. See Attorneys in South Africa. The length of articles may be reduced by attending a practical legal training course or performing community service. Attorneys may additionally qualify as notaries and conveyances. Via the conveyancing and notarial practice examinations, those with technical or scientific training may further qualify as patent attorneys. C. Patent Attorney Hash South Africa The requirements to enter private practice as advocates are to become members of a bar association by undergoing a period of training for one year, with a practicing advocate, and to sit an admission examination. On the recommendation of the Bar Councils, an advocate of proven experience and skill with at least 10 years' experience may be appointed by the President of South Africa as a senior counsel. See Advocates in South Africa. The Act regulating admission to practice law is being revised. North America, Canada The professional law degree in Canada is the Bachelor of Laws or Juris Doctor for common law jurisdictions and the Bachelor of Laws. Licentiate of Law or Bachelor of Civil Law for Quebec, a civil law jurisdiction. Admittance to an UL, B, or JD program requires at least two years of undergraduate education, although a completed undergraduate degree is usually required. In practice, the vast majority of those who are admitted have already earned at least an undergraduate degree. 
the change in academic nomenclature redesignating the common law degree as a JD, rather than an L. B. currently completed or under consideration at a number of Canadian schools has not affected the level of instruction, because it is the same degree. In the case of Quebec civil law degrees and the transistemic UL B BCL program at McGill University, students can be admitted after college. United States The education of lawyers in the United States is generally undertaken through a law school program, although in some states applicants who have not attended law school may qualify to take the bar exam. Legal education in the United States normally proceeds along the following route. Undergraduate education, law school, admission to the bar, legal practice, in the United States, in most cases, the degree awarded by American law schools is the Doctor of Jurisprudence or Juris Doctor, a doctoral degree, the pursuit of which students undertake only after having completed an undergraduate degree in some other field. The law school program is considered to be a professional school program and upon graduation you receive the distinct title of Doctor. Research degrees that are awarded include the Master of Laws, Doctor of Juridical Science degrees and Doctor of Comparative Law, a post-undergraduate and research and academic-based level degrees. In the U.S., the Legum Doctor is only awarded as an honorary degree. A number of law students apply for an optional judicial clerkship to be taken after law school and before legal practice. Clerkships usually last one year with appellate courts, but trial-level courts are increasingly moving towards two-year clerkships. Once a student has graduated from law school, he or she is expected to pursue admission to the bar in order to practice. Requirements for membership in the bar vary across the United States. In almost every state, the only way to be admitted to the bar is to pass a written examination. Once admitted, most attorneys must meet certain continuing legal education requirements. Academic degrees for non-lawyers are available at the baccalaureate and master's level. A common baccalaureate level degree is a Bachelor of Science in Legal Studies. Academic master's degrees in legal studies are available, such as the Master of Studies and the Master of Professional Studies. Such a degree is not required to enter a JD program. Foreign lawyers seeking to practice in the U.S. who do not have a JD often seek to obtain a Master of Laws, Master of Comparative Law and Master of Jurisprudence. South America. The law of South America is one of the most unified in the world. All countries can be said to follow civil law systems. Although recent developments in the law of Brazil suggest a move towards the stare decisis doctrine. Moreover, all countries have recently signed up to the Union of South American Nations Agreement which aims to establish a system of supranational law along the lines of the European Union, Arab and Islamic countries, Malaysia as a Commonwealth country. The Malaysian legal education system is rooted from the United Kingdom. Legal qualifications offered by the local law faculties require students to have a pre-university qualification such as the Malaysian Higher School Certificate, a level international baccalaureate foundation course or a diploma. Generally, the law degree programs in Malaysia consist of civil law subjects. But there are institutions such as the National University of Malaysia, International Islamic University Malaysia and University Sultan Zainal Abidin that include Sharia or Islamic law courses as requirements for admission and graduation. Malaysian law graduates from universities in the UK, Australia or New Zealand are allowed to practice law in Malaysia. However, they are required to obtain a Certificate of Legal Practice in Laws of Malaysia, Legal Education in Rest of African Continent.